share my story with you. Um, my name is Mike Barry. I'm 42 years old. I'm married to my uh, beautiful wife, Christine Cook. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And her love and support and compassion are incomparable. Recently, we've been blessed with the birth of our son, Troy, uh, August 4th, 2013, uh, the day after my birthday. Uh, who could ask for a better gift? Uh, the day he was born was the uh, most special day of my life. And I just can't express the uh, love I feel for him and how lucky we are to have him. Uh, I know it seems a little late in life being 42 and all, but uh, we just wanted to make sure we were in a solid financial position before bringing a child into this world. Um, Christine and I are also very fortunate to uh, have a loving, supportive family and group of friends. They would do uh, just about anything for you and we're so very thankful and happy to have them. But Unfortunately, I have some uh, <coughs> sad news to share as well. Uh, last Christmas, I was diagnosed with a rare uh, autoimmune disease called scleroderma. We, like most people, had uh, not heard of this horrible disease. It uh, attacks and eats away at internal organs, among other things, uh, for myself. Uh, mainly it has caused a lung disease uh, known as fibrotic NSIP, nonspecific intersitual pneumonia. So this is a uh, terminal lung disease. Uh, my body produces excess collagen as an immune response and uh, results in scarring of the lungs. The fibrosis advances differently from case to case, but normally has a five day year process until uh, death, uh, unless a lung transplant is available, which may add, uh, you know, another five, ten years of life if, if you're lucky, filled with uh, painful surgeries, toxic anti rejection drugs. Uh, hoping not to get a common cold, which would possibly turn into life-threatening pneumonia. Uh, we're guessing that I've been about two years into this fight now, and uh, my most recent pulmonary function tests have come back, and uh, they have me down to around 41% lung capacity. 30% uh, is considered end-stage. Uh, my case seems to be more aggressive than most, and the treatments haven't been uh, working. So needless to say, uh, this is not how we imagined our first Christmas with Troy. Uh, since receiving the news, our lives have been turned upside down. and uh, You can imagine the thought of dying, doctor's appointments, test after test, toxic drugs, caring for our new son, the overwhelming feeling of the burden I'm placing on my family, uh, all while my physical abilities are diminishing. <coughs> but uh, rather than let this beat us, we have researched all sorts of new possible medical treatments and found some hope in a new procedure called uh, pineopatic stem cell transplant, HSTC. Uh, they remove your stem cells from your bone marrow uh, and transplant them back into your body after high doses of chemotherapy uh, to kill off your immune system. It's very similar to leukemia treatments. Uh, this is being done quite successfully at Northwestern University in uh, Chicago by Dr. Richard Burt uh, to treat scleroderma as well as other diseases. Uh, much can be found on the internet about Dr. Burt and his program. 
Uh, we've also been speaking with a young woman from London, uh, Ontario, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, who has recently had the procedure done, uh, I think it was approximately 15 months ago. She's uh, doing fantastic. Her scleroderma has gone into remission. Her lung function has gone from the 30 percentile range uh, to almost 60 percent. She's been a, an inspiration to me and uh, my family. And uh, I just hope to get the same opportunity as her uh, for a normal life. So stay tuned for updates. And we are just waiting for our assessment date to travel to Chicago and uh, see if we can be accepted into the program. And also, we will update you on our fight with OHIP as well to try and get some out of country uh, care compensation. Uh, thank you. And again, my name is Mike Barry.